Hey, who's that Yoshino's chatting with over there? I'm terribly sorry. I'm delighted by your offer, but I'm afraid I must decline. I've resolved to dedicate my services exclusively to my mistress, you see. You mean, you're a real housemaid? Oh, I, I had no idea. I'm very sorry to have bothered you. Do feel free to come back any time, though, should you ever change your mind. Yoshino, was that a scout for a maid cafe? Oh, you overheard? Yeah, that sounded like a pretty well-practiced refusal, too. Do you get accosted like that a lot? I suppose I do. Particularly by maid cafes, for rather obvious reasons. Wait, you mean you get headhunted for other jobs, too? Quite a few. It was an art studio a few days ago, and before that, one eager recruiter felt I'd make a great explorer. Seriously? What do you do on a daily basis that has all these people scouting you? I merely attend to the mistress's needs, along with any housework that needs to be done. So, why are recruiters approaching you about things not related to maid work? Oh my, you are a curious one. Perhaps you might like to accompany me for a while and see for yourself? Hmm, you know what? Let's do it. A day in the life of a real deal maid sounds like a pretty fascinating time to me. As you wish. Currently, I am headed to Animart on Main Street to purchase a manga at the mistress's behest. Come! This shop sells PP parts. Shall we upgrade? It's always good to save regularly, but mindfully. We've arrived. The manga the young miss wishes to read should be in stock within. Now, that couldn't possibly be Yoshino Sayonji standing right there, could it? Oh, it's been quite some time, hasn't it? You know, I was just thinking about you. Been trying to track down the elusive Miss Sayonji here for quite some time. You know this guy, Yoshino? I do indeed. This gentleman is the president of Jimbocho Publishing. President? Have you given any consideration to the matter of employment with my company, Miss Sayonji? We'd love to have you. I'm afraid that, as before, I must decline your kindly offer. I'd hoped you might have reconsidered. Perhaps you'd give me a few moments to sell you on why Jim Pub is right for you? Again, I must refuse. The tales I've crafted are merely trifles for the enjoyment of my mistress. Nothing more. I understand. I suppose it was always going to be a hard sell, wasn't it? At the very least, though, I hope you'll accept this gift for your consideration. The latest issue of our monthly rag. Oh! This is the manga the young miss sent me to procure. I will gladly accept this on her behalf. You have my gratitude. Splendid. I'll be off then. Ta! How the heck do you know somebody like that, Yoshino? When the mistress was but a girl, I would often create my own picture books to read to her. On occasion, she would drop one on the ground without my notice, and that man would invariably be the one to find it. I see, so that got you noticed, but I mean, he really seems to think they're worthy of publication. Oh my, no. They're silly stories accompanied by amateurish art. I am but a simple maid in the end. Putting that aside, our next errand is to pick up what's needed for the evening meal. Come to the supermarket at UBX! Trading cards can make you stronger, so let's stock up! Oh, my star fruit and garnish! If it isn't Yoshino Sayonji in the raw! Why, hello there. It's been a long time. Wait, don't I know this guy from TV? Holy crap. It's the freaking Sobagetti guy. Goro Mandinsky, right? He's like a famous master top chef. I've got just a little dash of something I'd like to ask you, Miss Sayonji, if you can spare the rosemary and thyme. And what might that be? I've been thinking of cooking up a fresh new restaurant. And, of coursely ground, I'd need a head chef for that. So what do you say, Miss Sayonji? Will you loan me the sugar and help me get this one off the cutting board? What? You're a master top chef now, too? 
I'm terribly sorry, but all of my cooking is solely for the sustenance of my mistress. As such, I'm afraid I must politely decline your offer. There must be a way. Whatever you're making now will be boiled peanuts. I'll dish out a salary ten times that portion. I am grateful for your generosity, but I'm afraid I simply cannot accept. Guess your mind's made it up then. But please, do accept these as an apology for my half-baked tenderizations. Oh my! Is it truly all right to have these? They're such high-end ingredients. Without question. If by your hand stewed, these ingredients are sure to satisfy even the most discerning palate. Now then, I must away. If ever you crave a taste of the art of restaurateurship, you're ever welcome with me. Everything we need for the evening meal all at once. Even the mistress can scarcely object to food made with these. So, uh, how do you know that guy? Oh, he was a few years back. The mistress and I attended a cooking class for parent and child. Only the ones, though. Mr. Mandinsky just happened to be the teacher of that class. We came to keep in somewhat regular contact, as he would often consult me for cooking advice. The soba Getty guy consulted you? Oh, it isn't anything worth making a fuss about. I am but a simple maid in the end. Now, let us make our last stop. A military shop on the side streets called Soldier's Zone. Turns up at last. Has been a while, hasn't it? Uh-oh. Here we go again. We gonna be able to get you to come back somehow? Ain't no way we can manage on our own for much longer. I've already made my pledge. I won't be dirtying my hands with anything beyond the protection of the young miss. You seriously still over there? Join back up with the PMC. And you're sure to do bigger and better things than ever. Wait. PMC as in private military company? <laughs> there ain't a single day goes by that I don't think back on the legend of the Black Panther of the Battlefield. Please, come back to us, Sionji. We need you bad. My answer is the same as before. I must refuse your offer. But... but... Are you questioning my judgment, maggot? Oh, them eyes are looking as crazy as they did back in the day. Oh, fine. Suppose I'll back off for today. But just you remember, your only true home is on the battlefield. Hang on to this uniform for the day comes you realize that. I just know I'll see you on the field again someday. Master Asahi, I believe the mistress will be most pleased with this military garb. What? Why would she be? What the hell are you hiding in your past, Yoshino? I suppose that would be enough to spark anyone's curiosity. See, before I took this job, I was... A mercenary? Like for realsies? A badass, take no prisoners mercenary? Oh my, it sounds so embarrassing. Please keep that between just the two of us. Don't even let the young miss know. B but keep it between us, please. Right, whatever you say. Good afternoon, Master Asahi. Yoshino. Hmm? What's got you so on edge? Um... Keep it between us, please. N -n -n nothing All good on the Asahi front. <laughs> well, that's a fake response if I ever heard one. What are you hiding? Now, now, mistress. Do you know something about this, Yoshino? Not at all, mistress. I would never keep secrets from you. Yes, I guess not. You are a pretty devoted maid. If I ordered you to tell me the truth, you would. Hey, uh, Ko? Don't you think maybe you might be overworking Yoshino a little? She's welcome to ask for time off, but I'd have to approve it. That's worker exploitation. 
It's a clear violation of our national labor laws. A neat like you has no business lecturing me on employment procedures. But fine, if that's how you want to play it, Yoshino, you may take the day off today. I mean, if you're constantly working, I can't very well relax myself, now can I? Oh, but mistress, that makes it sound as if I nag you. You do, which is why I've decided I will be spending a little time unwinding on my own today. You needn't do this on my account, mistress. I am perfectly content working for your benefit each and every day. No, no, you're taking today off. I command it. As you wish. Good. Now, go enjoy yourself. I do not permit you to do otherwise. She totally did this for you. I wish she'd just own up to it. A day off in this job is a true rarity. So much so that I haven't a clue how I should spend it. Well, this is Akiba. There's plenty to see and do. If you'd like, I'd be glad to show you around. Truly, I appreciate the consideration. And further, I believe I will avail myself of your gracious offer. Alrighty then, follow me. And if you see any stores you want to check out, just say the word. How about we upgrade our PPs? Pardon me, Master Asahi. If it's all right with you, perhaps I might take a look inside this store? This one? I mean, it's just a suit store, but sure, if you want. Thank you very kindly, Master Asahi. These suits are absolutely splendid. Glad you got what you were looking for, but aren't those for Ko? Indeed they are. Is there something wrong with that? The mistress will be graduating from high school next year. I think it would be prudent for her to own a suit or two. Well, sure, but this is your day off. Potentially your only day off. Don't you think you ought to focus on buying stuff you want? Oh my. For me, a maid's uniform alone is plenty. Besides, these suits for the young miss are exactly what I wanted. Uh, okay. That's fine, I guess. But let's continue the tour now, shall we? Hey, a clothing store! Wonder if they have anything in my size. Oh, good, a safe spot. Well, I can use a breather. Soba and oil? Hmm, that might be a nice change of pace every now and again. Really? I wouldn't have expected that from you. Seems a little junky for your tastes. Soba and oil has fewer calories than ramen, you see. It may be a treat well suited to the young miss's health. Oh, back to Ko again? You know it's okay to forget about her for just this one day, right? Wait a minute. Does that mean Ko eats ramen? It seems she's taken an interest in all sorts of new things lately. I believe it may be your group's influence on her. Oh, uh, sorry about that. No, no, it's nothing to apologize for. Rather, broadening the mistress's horizons is a wonderful thing. You want to grab some real quick, then? I sure wouldn't mind a bite. Well, that should about do it for me. I believe it will be more than sufficient to reproduce the flavors at home. Did you really have to try every single variety for that, though? Master Asahi, I must thank you for your guidance today. It was most enjoyable. Wait, are you leaving already? There's still plenty of time left. I've been continuously receiving a large number of texts since the day's onset, and I really should address them. Texts? Texts from who? Oh my, I should think that would be obvious. It seems the young miss may be suffering withdrawal symptoms. Have a look. Where are my socks? I want some green tea. Where's the manju? Still waiting on that green tea. How old is she, eight? Oh my, you see my dilemma. I must return to her before she becomes truly angry. But thank you again for today. Not at all. As long as you got to have a little fun, it was time well spent. Oh, yes. But before I go... What's up? I'm sure you understand that the matter of showing you text messages from the young miss is... 
Well... Let me guess. Keep it between us, please. Right, you got it. Pardon me, Master Asahi. Would it be all right if we stopped in here? At Tonoden? I've been thinking of replacing some of our household's electrical appliances. Why would you do that? Nothing in the house is broken right now, is it? You might not be aware, Mistress, but the washing machine and other appliances have begun to show their age. The toaster is also beyond redemption, and has been causing innumerable inconveniences come breakfast time. As such, I've been thinking it would be prudent to replace them without delay. Hmm. All right. Just do it quickly. Oh my, that should do it. And everything is set to be shipped directly to the manor. What's the deal, though, with that washing machine? You could have bought a much bigger one. Smaller capacity models are much easier to use for the amount of laundry we generate. And clean better as well. Well, if you say so, I trust you. Oh, thank you very much. Rest assured, this one is so simple, even you should have no trouble with it, mistress. Huh? Ah, yes, I almost forgot. Master Asahi, I'm sorry to be a bother, but might we make one more stop? Oh, no problem. Then let us make for Juan Quixote on Main Street. Careful not to overwrite a sibling's data. Business in the delusionscape? Please be well prepared. Thank you for accompanying me. I'll be right out. Oh, we'll give you a hand, Yoshino. Come on, Ko. Hey, Yoshino. What are you planning to buy here, anyway? Just some everyday necessities. I thought perhaps we should use this opportunity to restock the manor. That's awfully pragmatic of you. I'll wait here. Uh, Ko? It's all right, Master Asahi. This is my responsibility, after all. Ugh, took you long enough. I admit we purchased a bit more than expected. Why? We don't need all that. This isn't like you, Yoshino. I do feel like we went a bit overboard. Toilet paper, trash bags, laundry detergent. We bought everything. Oh, my. Well, it's rare that I'm able to come this far into town. In that case, are there any other stores you want to hit up while we have the chance? Perhaps a bookstore? There's a specific book I've been meaning to purchase. What kind of book? Mm, just a cookbook. Cookbook, huh? The best selection for that would probably be Etri by the station's electric town exit. Shall we? This shop sells all kinds of odds and ends. Shall we? Shall we take a break? You go on ahead. We've got way too many bags to squeeze through the aisles with, so I'll keep an eye on them out here. I'm very sorry for the trouble, but I will take you up on your kind offer. I'll wait here too. As you wish. Please look after the mistress as well, Master Asahi, if you would. So, hey Ko, did I detect a certain degree of tension between you two earlier? Not from me. You'd have to ask Yoshino what she's thinking. What she's thinking? We'd have been fine not buying anything right now. But I swear, you two bought up the whole store. It doesn't make sense. Ko? My apologies for keeping the two of you waiting. Did you get your cookbook? I did indeed, mistress. The perfect one. Let me have a look at that. Uh, mistress? What? Why would you need a beginner's cookbook? Huh? Is it so strange, mistress? One should never forget the essentials, after all. I was simply hoping to make my cooking as delicious as possible for you. <laughs> I'm not buying it. I swear I'll never understand that girl. Between the two of you, she's clearly the one acting weird. 
Acting... weird, you say? Oh, uh... see... Ah, uh, I understand. So that's how the young mess has been perceiving all this? Yeah, which is why I said she's the one who's been acting weird. I just don't get what has her so high-strung. Perhaps she's become more aware, which would mean... Yoshino? Oh, my apologies. I'm simply musing to myself. But truth be told, I quite like the conclusions I'm reaching. That the mistress could become aware of even the most trifling change in my behavior is simply remarkable. Well, it stands to reason, right? You two have been together for an awfully long time. I'm sure the two of you are so used to one another's mannerisms, it'd be hard to miss any changes in behavior. It is true that we've been together for a great while, and she has reached an age that heralds enhanced empathy. Yet while the two of us have always seen the same world, it has invariably been from very different perspectives. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. Simply that I see the world as a maid, and she is my mistress. Nothing more, nothing less. I am a maid, and I live to serve my mistress.